in the mountainous region. The journey is like a maze. Every step is met with a test of survival. Yet the harsh conditions have never hampered the brave. Not even the challenges of highlands, valleys, wars, or social unrest have stopped mankind from embarking on the dangerous journey. Today, the desire to revive the Silk Road has become more compelling than in any other era. The Silk Road has seen various transformations with the passing of time, yet the excitement on this road remains. This is a new Silk Road, the unfolding of a new story on the Silk Road. The Pamir is the planet's most spectacular mountain range. It is a place where five tall mountains converge. This is where the ancient Silk Road marks its end. In May, at the foot of Mustak Atta, herdsmen gathered their yaks, getting ready to move to summer ranches. What lies in front of them is the most difficult route on Earth. Tashkurgan is the starting point to cross the Pamir. At an altitude of 3,100 meters, this is where thousands of years of traditions, cultures, and lifestyles remain preserved. Chor, Panj, Shash, Kap, Tashkurgan Cultural Troop has been around for more than 50 years. It is committed to the renewal and protection of Tajik music and dance. Every soloist is a well-known star locally. Eric, a 26-year-old, is an accompanist. He pales in comparison to the lineup of star-studded colleagues in the troupe. Eric's dream is to become a soloist. The challenges he faces are comparable to that of crossing the Pamir. To attain a higher quality of musical standard, the best way is to leave Pamir and head to the bigger cities for further study. However, Eric is married. He has to take care of his family. The rainy season is approaching. His top priority is the maintenance of his house. refers to the broad valley terraces. In fact, it is this unique landscape that carves out a relatively easy passageway. Pamir presents both a barrier and a thoroughfare. At a height of 6,000 meters, a mysterious passageway is hidden. This is the path where Buddhism infused China the same path where silk reached out to the rest of the world.
Kashgar, one of the greatest cities on the Silk Road. The commercial center of the vast western regions is situated 300 kilometers away. Kashgar has been designated China's special economic zone, a symbol that marks the renaissance of the Silk Road. It will bring on a whole new meaning to this ancient road. Merchants on the Silk Road ride on a brand new type of transport to cross the Pamir Highlands. Wang Jianping, a 52-year-old, is a cross-border bus driver who has spent nearly three decades driving on the Karakoram Highway. His familiarity of the highway is second to none. In Kashgar tea houses, it is a common sight to see travelers enjoying afternoon tea. Some have just arrived, while others are about to depart, all with the same intention of conserving their energy levels for the next leg of their journey. This is where travelers exchange travel tips, a common sight that remains unchanged for millennia. Kashgar is an inclusive city, welcoming those who choose to stay and saying goodbye to those who leave. Mark is a businessman from Pakistan. He made a decision to begin a new life in Kashgar. Come and take a look. Hats from Mumbai. Smell good when you visit friends and you'll be treated to meat. Smell otherwise and you don't even get offered none. It's as if the Silk Road has reappeared. Here in a Kashgar night market, Mark, a perfume seller, is a reflection of the ancient Silk Road businessman. Their efforts to attract customers remain unchanged. Fortunately, novelty goods from afar never fall out of favor. As the juncture of the land route, the price of goods sold in Kashgar is comparable to that of China's southeastern coastal cities. The current trade volume in Kashgar surpasses that of the previous eras. Mainland Chinese goods are continually arriving before they head west via the deep valleys of the Pamir. Karakoram Highway, one of the highest paved highways in the world, enters its peak transport season. At this stage of the Silk Road Renaissance, many are facing difficulties and obstacles positively with the intention to create a pathway that belongs to them, one that will lead to a better life. Karakoram Highway overlaps the south line of the Silk Road that leads to the ancient road along the India River. The road crosses the Pamir with a total distance of 1,224 kilometers, one of the highest altitude and the most expensive road construction projects in the world. An earthquake two years ago badly damaged sections of the Karakoram Highway. It is a huge and complex project to repair it. The landslide resulted in a lake measuring a distance of 11 kilometers and a depth of 90 meters. That becomes an insurmountable obstacle, causing a transport backlog over the Silk Road. 
Zhao Yuechao, whose name means surpass in Chinese, has a dream to travel around the world. Whenever my dad was asked why I was given this name, he would reply he hasn't traveled enough in his lifetime and wants me to continue on his behalf. After so many years in my job, I've told him I fulfilled his wish. I've been to many places, enough to go a few laps around the Earth's equator. Reconstructing the damaged road will take a long time. A year ago, Zhao Yuechao crossed the Pamir Mountains and arrived in northern Pakistan. Together with his colleagues, their mission is to connect the Silk Road again. There is no platform on the Karakoram Mountain. Only steep mountains, valleys, and tectonic plates that caused more than 50 earthquakes within a short span of time. The design for the new road is to construct two tunnels in the mountainous region along the lake. The degree of complexity cannot be underestimated. Nowadays, to the Chinese, time is of the essence. Appointed as the technical director of the exploration team, Zhao Yuechao is facing unprecedented pressure. The new road lies mainly along the side of the lake and leverages the side that lies along the mountains. That position will be the starting point of the tunnel. We call it the fourth bridge tunnel. Currently, we're able to gauge the stratum. The ground is mainly gravel-based. By partially laying some stones, we're able to estimate the stratum. At the foot of the Atta Mountain lies the aftermath of another disaster. A sudden mudslide has formed a lake with an area of three kilometers square, blocking the road. 20 vehicles were flooded. Along the Karakoram Highway stand more than 100 mountains that measure over 7,000 meters. Numerous glaciers extend to both sides of the road. With the roads cut off, bus driver Wang Jianping is forced to postpone the departure date. He is taking the opportunity to embark on a journey. He counts liang pi, a noodle-like Chinese dish, and traditional snacks as the most important items for this trip. Wang Jianping is planning to go to Urumqi, the capital of Xinjiang, Uyghur Autonomous Region. He has to cross the hot Taklimakan Desert. He knows liang pi are perishable and require meticulous preservation, thus he uses ice and cartons to provide refrigeration. Wang Jianping's daughter, Wang Huan, works in Urumqi. Wang Jianping has spent decades of his life providing transport across the Pamir Mountains, leaving him barely any time to look after his family. In the blink of an eye, his daughter has graduated from college and has gone off to work. Wang Huan is a pharmacist in an Urumqi hospital. As far as she can recall, her relationship with her father has been very distant. It was mostly my mom and I at home. Dad often traveled. Even my dad told my mom that we were like strangers. I didn't greet him when he came home. Honestly, I feel ashamed in front of her. Due to the nature of my work, I was hardly at home. I hardly cared for her or communicated with her. Yung Isar is an oasis located 100 kilometers from Kashgar in front of the Pamir. At the Yung Isar Dawaz International School, the students are practicing an ancient art. In Uyghur, Dawaz means walking on a tightrope. This ancient art traveled along the Silk Road and was mentioned in Chinese historical records more than 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Alim, a 12-year-old, is the youngest student in Yungisar Dawa's international school. The physical training is extremely hard, yet essential to become a Dawa's performer. 
Alim has to undergo many more years of training. This school is part of the Chinese government's efforts to revitalize traditional arts and culture. The future of Dawaz lies in the success of the younger generation like Alim. Yangisar High School is next to Yangisar Dawaz International School. During a language lesson, the teacher is explaining a story about heroes, hoping to inspire the students on camaraderie. However, a student, 14-year-old Yue Mayer, is somewhat distracted. Right to persevere and never give up. Unlike Yue Mayer, who learns from books, the students in Dawa's International School are learning how to be heroes themselves. Ma. Yet many times, failure is inevitable. Yue Mayer is no stranger to Doha's International School. Currently, Yang Isar is the only region preserving the art of Dawaz. Historically, young men like Alim had to undergo Dawaz training from the very young age. Yumayer loves Dawaz. Every day on his way home after school, Yumayer will visit the neighboring Dawaz International School. A strong foundation is the key to learning highly complex techniques. Dawaz International School develops a customized training program for Alim. He has to go through it one step at a time. Pole walking is fundamental training prior to tightrope walking. It helps the trainee find his balance and overcome his fear of height. In Yue Mayer's opinion, Alim's training is full of fun. Slowly, the two boys become friends. Yumayer's dream is to be a student at Dua's International School. I could walk on a tightrope when I was very young. I will work hard to become a famous Dawa's performer. Yumayer was born in the traditional Dawa's region. Thus, he's not a stranger to tightrope walking. Before he started formal schooling, Yumayer had participated in Dawa's practice. But now, he has forgotten the techniques necessary to become a Dawa's performer. To realize his dream, Yumayer must start from scratch. Urumqi is an emerging modern city on the ancient Silk Road. After nearly two days of traveling, Wang Jianping has finally arrived in Urumqi. It is a bit spicy. Grandma called to ask if I wanted to eat lamb pea. Have you gained or lost weight? I've gained weight. You've gained weight? That's good. 
Whenever I have time, I would think of what to tell her when we meet. I have thought of making up to her what I owe her. However, things do not happen as planned the moment I see her. That's how it is. Like many other Chinese parents, Wang Jianping believes that the reason for his hard work and his toiling is to provide a better life for his daughter. Urumqi is an inclusive city. 50 ethnic groups with diverse cultures and traditions reside together here. Xinjiang Institute of the Arts has been around for more than 50 years. It is the only integrated institute of arts in northwestern China, a cradle for the artistic talents at the frontier. The institute counts more than 2,700 students of various ethnic groups. A 55-year-old music professor at the Xinjiang Institute of the Arts is a foreign expert. He comes from Uzbekistan in Central Asia. With a yearning to learn more about ancient China, Hai Lili came to China eight years ago. With him is his wife, Salwi Terlan. In this higher institute of arts in Urumqi, the couple is engaged in a profession that they both love, playing the roles of cultural ambassadors along the modern Silk Road. Regardless of a good or bad day, after a hard day's work, I like to take a moment to chat with my wife to calm my emotions. That's what I do. It would be most unfortunate to live with a woman who exerts pressure on her man in this already pressurizing society. In my opinion, a man is most blessed if he has a supportive wife. The couple's most pleased that their two children are also engaged in music education in the United States. Hai Lili credits his wife for the success of his family and the success of their children. Hai Lili took part in the Afghanistan war 20 years ago. That war nearly took his life. A long scar on his face can be spotted if you look closely. It took him a long time to heal the psychological wounds left behind by the war. There should not be war on this earth. Mankind killing one another. From the religious point of view, there should not be war. It shouldn't happen at all. Overcoming one's inner obstacles is more challenging than surmounting natural obstacles. 
From ancient times, obstacles on the Silk Road created numerous heroes, such as Zhang Tian and Marco Polo. Today, more ordinary folks are attempting to overcome the barrier to revitalize this ancient road. This afternoon in the capital Islamabad, Pakistan once again saw a large-scale outbreak of anti-terrorism demonstrations. Thousands of people gathered outside the embassy to protest. In Pakistan, reconstruction work of the Karakoram Highway has to be temporarily suspended. A demonstration against the United States has spread all over the country, resulting in riots in many places. The construction workers are especially tense as they are well aware of their tight deadlines. In fact, the real obstacle does not come from the dangerous roads but the turbulent situation. Karakoram Highway passes through the mountains between Afghanistan and neighboring Pakistan. Herein lies the location of the entrance to the South Asian subcontinent. It is also the door leading to the Indian Ocean. It is the same location where Alexander the Great and Tamerlane embarked on their journey to India. To date, this is still a turbulent piece of land. In order to ensure the safety of Chinese construction workers, Pakistani police have arranged reinforcement for them. Whenever Zhao Yuechao and his colleagues need to go out, they will be accompanied by the police. Today, Zhao Yuechao has to make a trip to Hunza, some 100 kilometers downstream. He needs more supplies. Hunza is the most beautiful city in northern Pakistan. The Westerners call it Shangri-La. This cold and remote city was once considered a paradise in the Pamir region. After he has purchased his supplies, Zhao Yuechao takes time to locate an internet cafe so that he can contact his sister. I cannot hear you. In that case, what do you want to tell me? You miss me? This time last year, you told me you'd be away for two or three months. Hasn't three months already passed? No worries. I'll be back for Chinese New Year. I'm doing fine. Let mum spend Chinese New Year at Xi'an. Are you picking up Urdu? We speak English here. I see. The moment the situation improves, reconstruction work on the Karakoram Highway resumes almost immediately. The mountainous highway that connects China and Pakistan is termed the Friendship Highway by the two governments. It is gaining in strategic significance. Back in Chinese territory, the reconstruction work at Tashkurgan's Burin town is well underway. After repeated survey of the area, it has been decided that an old bridge that is blocking the lake will be blown up. The blast was very successful. Soon the flood recedes, revealing the road's surface. The Silk Road spans across numerous natural obstacles. 
The result of an unobstructed pathway comes from the tireless hard work of countless ordinary folks. In Urumqi, Professor Haile Ali spares no effort to groom his students. In Yangisar, UMIR has decided to take on a brand new challenge. On the Karakoram Highway, Wang Jianping continues to face harsh climates and the rugged mountains. Tashkurgan has finally ended its time as an island state. The Tajiks celebrate this joyous occasion with traditional horse racing. The significance of a cleared road is the arrival of tourists in Tashkurgan. With the coming of the annual tourism season, Tashkurgan cultural troupe enters its peak period. Troop members engage in meetings that emphasize discipline. For Eric, his plan for further studies must be postponed once again. My biggest dream is to become a professional musician and composer. I'm working on my dream. However, I'm lacking the opportunity for further studies. The dangers posed by the lake at the foot of Ata Mountain have been cleared. Bus driver Wang Jianping once again embarks on a journey across the Pamir. If all goes well, a round trip will take him four days. In Kashgar, Pakistani businessman Mark begins his new life. Kashgar, a city of trade, records an annual economic growth of more than 15 percent. Nearly 100,000 people are engaged in small-scale businesses. The presence of five trade ports allows the businessmen easy access to eight neighboring countries. To their counterparts, to the neighboring countries, Kashgar possesses a very strong attraction. This is a Pakistani restaurant in Kashgar. Mark and his hometown friends gather here weekly. After years of hard work, Mark manages to procure a stall space in an underground mall in Kashgar. Today, the products that he sells have been upgraded. Once a perfume salesman, he is currently selling gold and silver jewelry from India and Pakistan. The jewelry industry is a bigger market. Mark's new stall is located in a prime location in Kashgar, the Id Ka Mosque vicinity, the largest mosque in Xinjiang. It is one of the most famous mosques in Central Asia. The vicinity has always been the most flourishing market of Kashgar. The commodities transported on the Silk Road are found here. Kashgar is certainly on track to a renaissance. Yangisar, an oasis in the desert, has an abundance of water, a most precious gift from nature. Yumayer is having summer holidays. This is his happiest time. In Dawa's school, Alim starts a brand new challenge after experiencing countless failures. Now, 
he possesses both strength and balance. More importantly, Alim has gradually overcome his fear of heights. With more training to come, along with the height increment of the tightrope and the increment of distance, Alim will eventually become an outstanding Dawa's performer, continuing generations of the ancient art. Before he's able to do that, he must pick up many more complex techniques and overcome difficult obstacles. In the time to come, he will get to experience the world at large. <laughs> Mum, that was schools recruiting. I want to sign up. Your father has gone to Urumqi. I'll have to talk with him when he comes back. We'll make a decision then. Yumayer has decided on a bold plan, to practice Dawaz on his own. He has never walked on the steel pipe on the rooftop. Each step presents danger and uncertainty. However, the young man knows Dawaz symbolizes challenges and breakthroughs. Success can only be attained by constantly challenging oneself to greater heights. This is Xinjiang Institute of the Arts. One of Hai Lili's students is holding his graduation concert. This is Hai Lili's happiest moment. After the concert, the student presents him with a Uyghur flower hat, which signifies the highest form of respect in the Uyghur community. I often tell my students, the donkey has the world's highest pitch. Its pitch reverberates throughout the village. However, the donkey's pitch has no emotion. I agree that music is not solely expressed through high pitches. Hai Lili has found the life he wanted in China. The trauma caused by the war is slowly healing. 
China is the most ancient country. Other ancient societies include Greece, Iran and India. They have thousands of years of history. I am very fortunate to be able to come to such a historically rich country to work. A new student has joined Hai Lili's class. Eric has finally stepped out of the Pamir. He has left his newborn child and borrowed money to pay for his school fees to join the Adult Education College of Xinjiang Institute of the Arts. This is Eric's first vocal lesson. Hai Lili has discovered some fundamental faults of his pronunciation. Eric appears uneasy. You can't use too much lung power. The moment you do that, your trachea contracts and you cannot project your voice. In the mountains of northern Pakistan, the reconstructed Karakoram Highway has finally unveiled its first look. By next year, this road will be open to traffic. The obstruction previously caused by the lake will go down as history. Finally, the construction workers are slightly more relaxed. The day for Zhao Yuechou to return home is nearing. Oh, oh this, this is my house. Koli Mit Village, Zhao Yuechou is visiting a local friend. In Pakistan, Chinese guests are always welcome. Not to mention, here is a technician who has come all the way from China to work on the reconstruction of the road. The lake flooded the family's house and land. The family is serving Zhao Yuechou the best food that they can afford. With the combined effort of both the Chinese and the Pakistani road construction teams, Koli Mit's status as an island state is coming to an end. <laughs> Karakoram Highway. Wang Jianping is driving a long-distance bus, plying China and Pakistan. The climate is unpredictable on the world's highest road. It frequently presents Wang Jianping with unexpected challenges. As the bus approaches Tashkirgan, it suddenly snows heavily. The night has fallen. Wang Jianping has no choice but to stop his bus. This is a well-known local pub. Along with the development of tourism comes nightlife in Tashkirgan. Eric has completed his short stint at Xinjiang Institute of the Arts. He is finally singing on stage. Kunjarab is the highest point of the Karakoram Highway at an altitude of 5,000 meters located at the Kunjarab Pass. Wang Jianping leads his passengers through the customs clearance. <laughs> Wang Jianping's passengers are mainly construction workers heading for Pakistan for the final repair work of the Karakoram Highway. 
the project has come to the most critical part and requires a lot of manual labor. This is the first time the workers step out of their country. Together with Zhao Yuechao, they will take up the responsibility to build the new Silk Road. Today, even with the development of public transport, travel in the inner parts of the Eurasian continent remains full of difficulties. Geological disasters, unrest and disturbances, and even fear are sufficient to pose obstacles to the new Silk Road. Nevertheless, whatever obstacles there may be, they're temporary. Nothing can stop the willpower of mankind. Obstacles present themselves time and time again, but breakthroughs are made to counter them all. The fact that it is possible for an exchange of human civilization to take place, that history can be rewritten, are testimonies of these people behind the work on the Silk Road. A small train station amidst a desert, a trip home every four days. There are no residents in the vicinity. It is desert all around. When I was stationed at Urumqi, it was the same situation there. Some decide to venture out, while others decide to stay behind. Yangguan, an ancient customs checkpoint. Please watch The Silk Road. The journey goes on. Episode 3, The Inns That Connect.